The claw. The claw. Lower the crane and pick up the stuffed animal. Aren't they cute? I guess stuffed animals are a type of animal. As far as a kindergartner is concerned, it, it's it's an animal. And I mean, I I like plushies. Yeah. Plushies are nice. Friends. Anyway, you push A at the right time Big to elephant. drop the claw to grab the the stuffed animal. On level one, it's this pink bunny. It's got a head. It's kind of a big head, but it's easy to grab. On level two, you got this bear that's laying forward, so it's a wider area that you need to grab. And on level three, it's this big elephant with a very big head. So, you know, each difficulty level, it's a larger object you need to grab, so the available space that you can uh, properly grab it from is tighter. Um, the claw will only move across once. It doesn't like move back and forth. So if it passes by the stuffed animal and you miss, you, you don't try to grab it, then you've lost. So you get one shot. And you push it at the right time. There's a lot of push A at the right time games in this set. It's occurring to me. There's a lot of push A at the right time games in this game. Yeah, I, I feel like this, the Cat and Donna set, has a higher concentration of them, though. It's not something we've been keeping track of, and yeah. frankly, I don't think we need to go back and check. But yeah, I'll think maybe Sidebar will have something. Don't. Maybe I'll... <laughs> oh, okay. I, <laughs> you don't have to do that to I, yourself. I, I won't. I won't bother. It's going to show up in one of these as a stat of the day. Probably. I don't, don't want to. Probably. I just don't want to. Sidebar, stop, please. <laughs> um. Yeah. So I'm, I'm just considering and noticing that claw machine has one stuffed animal and it looks like a bunch of just loose stuffing? Yes. Spunky monkey! I. Hmm. Use the trees to jump higher. Grab bananas, little monkey. Press A to jump. This is... It's not technically a mache game, but you can treat it as a mache game. You push A at any time while the monkey is holding on to one of the trees, and it'll jump across to the other tree. And you just you, you push it until it climbs up to grab the banana. Uh, if you are... The, the longer that it spent any time that it spends holding the tree and that you don't jump, it will slide down. So, you know, any any time that you spend not jumping means you need to do more jumps. Um, the difficulty level is how far apart the trees are. So on level one, they're pretty close together. On level two, they're further. On level three, it's like the whole screen width. Um... On, like, all of the difficulty levels, you can, with proper mashing, get it in two jumps. Maybe three if you're slightly off on the, the timing to start. But okay. it's it's a mash -A game, and this is one that I got very far with. I like the Metroid one. This is an extremely easy mash -A game that I can just clear at top speed. We've also seen, uh, that you're very good at mash -A games just from yeah your experience with Mario Party. And uh, this, this... Is this a chimp? Uh, no, it's a monkey. It has a long tail. Okay, so this is actually a monkey for once. They yes! Get it correct. They correctly identified a monkey as a monkey. That means kindergartners are superior than Nintendo game developers. <laughs> and rare! <laughs> <laughs> That's because ninjas don't monkey around. And then I gave up when I hit 100. Crack down! Crack down! Your egg is fragile! Jump over the trembling ground to keep your egg from breaking! Yet another press A at the right time game. The giant in the background will swing its hammer and hit the ground, and if you are sit on the ground when the ground shakes, then it will knock your egg off and crack it, and that's bad, so you need to jump to avoid the earthquake. On level one, 
he just does a uh, slow swing that comes down and hits the ground. On level two, he will do a faster swing. So you can see he swings much faster. On level three, he does a fake out. Where like he'll do a thing and then he'll come back and then he'll come down and swing and hit. But that's the game. Uh, the timing on this is pretty lenient. Uh, and if you happen to jump early, then you can still jump again if you, uh, like, if, if you aren't touching the ground at the moment that it's shaking. So, now even if the, you do get tricked by the fake out on level 3, you still have time to, to correct it. else to, to really say. Yeah. This is the start of Wario's Crime Empire Diamond City. Right, yeah, I, I was saying, I am really, really looking forward to future WarioWare games. Just, I want to see more about these characters that we don't know yet. Like, most of them are very interesting characters that I just want to know more about. What is their deal? Do you want to know even more? Well, I think further, we're going to find that as they experiment, as the designers experiment with the, the games, uh, we start getting more than just press A at the right time games. Oh yeah, this is, you know, this was their first full game version of this, this mechanic, this the, idea. The weird, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the monsters had it with humans! Help them scare everyone off the screen! Well, okay. I mean, I, I can understand. I've often had it with humans. Yeah. So you move the monster around with the D-pad. Uh, as you get close to any of the humans, they will run directly away from you. So you need to, you know, chase them off the screen. The closer that you get to them, the faster that they will move. And uh, so you, you need to just... It, it, it's a little awkward. Sometimes it's a little tricky to make sure that you get all of them because they are... Until you start scaring them, they will run, like, wildly, randomly around like that. It, it is like herding sheep, but anti, anti-herding sheep. Uh, difficulty level is the number of humans to scare off. So you get more people, and they're more spread out on higher difficulties. You know, level one, they're all, like, on one side, and it's pretty clumped up, but... By level three, they're, like, widely scattered around, so you kind of need to sweep around. <sighs> yeah, humans aren't nature, I guess. Monsters are. Monsters are very natural. Especially in the mushroom world. And, like... Is this just a bear? <laughs> That's- that's kind of what it look uh, Have you seen any bears in the mushroom world? Yes. They seem rare. 